Now, some of the business owners in the plaza are speaking out about what they think is an unfair situation. Let's get out to Matt Koufax. He is in Tiger Town tonight with more on this development. Yeah, Cody, there certainly has been a lot of fallout since that letter was sent to some of these tenants here, and it's caused a, a lot of back and forth. On one hand, we have small business owners right out here who say that they felt blindsided by this sale, and it's affecting their livelihoods as they scramble to find new space. On the other hand, a landowner who says they did nothing wrong in making a sound business decision. Tucked into the middle of the 405 College Avenue Shopping Center, Kelly Reese says her restaurant Mayberry's was just beginning to hit its stride. For most of us, we're still fairly new businesses in the Clemson area. She's been here a year and a half, some of her counterparts less, and now they all have to be gone by January. We're told when I signed the lease that there was a potential for sale, but we were verbally assured, of course that that was highly unlikely, wasn't gonna happen. But that's exactly what took place. The landlord sold the property to Gilbane Development to build student housing, a move Kelly says blindsided everyone. We all, all of us, put money into renovating our spaces and put money into paint and floors, and we lose that. Now we all have to do it a second time in a relatively short period of time. Nobody has that in their budget. And Ubun One, owner of the Thai restaurant Bacon Cook, is another person affected by the sale. Now she and other owners like Kelly are fearful and scrambling to move. You have to build new clients, you know, to tell them where we are. That's that's money. Time is money. You know, you're losing clients, you're losing, and at the same time, the employees. We reached out to landlord Phil Owens, who says he's no longer the owner of the land. He joined us on the phone from Florida, explaining why he decided to sell. Owen says it was a simple business decision and points to this clause in the contract of all leases, which says in the event of a sale, owners will have 90 days. But owners like Kelly say they still feel misled and abandoned. When you can't pay people who work for you, their lives depend on the income. It's not just about me. Owens tells us he's not sure how the contract could have been any clearer and says everything was followed to a T. I don't think they care. So business owners like Kelly are still looking to find new spots. Some of them have new locations lined up. Others are still kind of in the dark here, and that's kind of that gray area that she says is very scary for a lot of them. Now, we have also reached out to the one missing link in all of this, that's Gilbane Development, and we have made several attempts to contact them via phone and email. So far, have not heard back, but we are going to keep trying. In Clemson tonight, Matt Koufax, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news. Matt.